What's up guys? This morning we had a plan to go out to the beach and fish off the shore. We're over here on 38. And I was hoping we could cast it further because of the, the storm it came through. But I really think we messed up the bank here. And we got a sandbar. It's off the shore. You can see you got to go good ways. And you can see where he's fishing. And you have to go out there just to fish. And it gets this deep before you get to that sandbar. And we're just having a hard time. Nothing but catfish are biting. I think we're going to try to move and get to the bay and see if we have better luck. Guys, uh, we moved to the bay, this little inlet, and uh, I've caught giant reds here, so we're gonna move here see if we can catch anything. I'm fishing with a lure for trout right now. We got two lines out waiting for something to bite, some finger mullet, and uh, we're just sitting here waiting. All right, guys. Well, I started with I got crap all in this thing. Started with a frog. They didn't want that. I didn't get out here till 11 on the paddleboard. I was working in the room, and then uh, seems like they wanted the stick bait. And my my go-to stick bait lately has really been the Roku, the Doomsday Roku. For some reason, the wiggle it makes going down, the bass just can't resist it. And I think I do really well when it's, the fish is slow when the bite is slow and they just tear it up. So I wanna to try to get some golf course fishing later this afternoon. Thanks for watching guys. Yeah, he ran me right into your fishing line. I got the frog out of the way. Now I can play with that lipless crankbait. Alright guys. Oh dude, he choked it. Dang it. He's bleeding. I'm going to get him back quick and then I'll talk about what I'm doing. Alright guys, um, what I was doing, I was throwing the Lunker Hunt frog, I got Lucky Tackle Box. I'm going to fish with my August Lucky Tackle Box right now. We did some um, shore fishing this morning on the beach. We did some bay fishing, it wasn't turning out. I caught one on the paddle board at Yellow Board when I was there helping them out today. And now it's uh, 3 in the afternoon, so we decided to come hit the golf course to see how it's turning out with all this little rain we got. And they just killed this frog. I mean, it's still got some blood on it yeah, from the fish. But that one's out the box. I'm going to switch lures now and I'm going to keep fishing and try to get that August box knocked out.
show you on that big old Shad, American Shad swim bait. This is a fat one. Man, I'm gonna get freaking trebles in my hands. You got pliers on you? That front treble, man. Got him good. Never mind, I got it, I got it. It's a nice little one. Body slam. Guys, I know there's been a lot of controversy lately of the Cash King Stealth. And uh, I almost just want to clear that up. Me and my brother-in-law, I've got two stealths tied on. He's got one. And we've hardly backlashed all day. I'm throwing this. I mean, this thing is like really, really light. This little, little crankbait. And I'm throwing on 30-pound braid with his stealth. And I'm not, I have no issues. And it cast all the way across the pond. Like, look at that. All the way across the pond. No issues. So the whole backlash thing, I mean, you just got to get your reel right. And then another issue is this isn't plastic. This is carbon. It's made out of carbon. Same thing as carbon fiber. It's just molded so it doesn't look like carbon fiber like the handle. But the same thing, it's it's carbon. And uh, and a lot of backlash issues is because the spool is a lot lighter so people aren't used to that and it accelerates a lot more. People just aren't used to that acceleration. And that's another, I mean, that should help you if you just, just tie in everything, get everything right on your reel. Get your centrifugal braking, your magnetic braking, and your tension knob. Get it just right, and you should have no problems. And another thing, which I'll show you guys right here. I found, and I have a whole bunch of damage. My guard, my sprinklers are on. But uh, what I want to do, look, this is more than two feet off the ground. Oh, I dropped it. Let's see what damage it did. Yeah, it did absolutely nothing. Nothing. No dents, no smacks. You got some white, look, you got some white stuff here from the concrete, just wiped right off. I took it out in front of my house the other day and I dropped it. I dropped it probably chest high, that's a good four feet. So four feet, it got minimal, minimal spots and you can see some concrete dust where I just wipe off and it still works perfectly fine. I'm fishing with it after the fact that I dropped it. And uh, I think it's, it works fine. So there's no issue there. This thing's not going to melt. It's not plastic. So you guys should have no issue. I back them 100%. And if you guys have any issues, any questions at all, feel free to message me on Facebook. Message me uh, on any of my social media. Instagram, YouTube. And, uh, and I'll try to answer anything I can. If not, just contact customer service. And customer service at Casking will take care of you. They take care of me all the time when I have issues, and uh, they'll take care of you. So, I'm just telling you guys right now look, that's four casts in a row with that little light lure all the way across. Look, and he just busted out a fish over there. Oh, oh we'll, we'll count it. He just flicked him and lost him. You need to get that hook set down. But, uh, that just, I hope that straightens up a few issues, guys, with the Cast King stealth. Don't want to call any names out or anything, but, uh, any stuff like that. Just, uh, just want to let you guys know that you can reach me if you have any issues with your reels. I mean, I have uh, multiple reels I use from them, so I have different ones. I can troubleshoot almost all of them. And, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I wanted to get back to this and try to catch me some more bass on my Lucky Tackle Box lures. There we go guys, on that little bitty lipless crankbait that I was just talking to you guys about. There he is. Oh, he is mad. I'm gonna count it. I think I ripped his lip off. He is mad. Off anyways. He was probably half the size you just had on. Oh, here's a good one. 
<laughs> this is, I told you this is gonna be a good little hot spot, just the way the current's like flushing against those. When I mean little hot spot, I mean a lot of little fish too. Uh oh, a little jerk bait. I'm not very good with jerk baits. Wish I had Jessica spinning set up. That's what frog. That that that's three. That's three fish. Well, that bite, it's gonna, it's gonna pick back up that frog bite in here in like an hour or two. I got like three, I'm gonna say three and a half. <laughs> I didn't really wanna pull that one up on shore anyways. I was, I was taking my time and hoping you'd check off. Dude, this one is super light. The wind's gonna like, I might have to throw this with the wind, not against it. Mm -hmm. What else we got in here? Oh, and some, uh, I'll, I'll rig these up on this one. Why are you leaving me? Here we go, guys. Got a little one on that jerk bait. Ow. Stuck me. Jerk bait's down. All we got left, guys, is the tubes, I think. Not very good with tubes. Not good with jerk baits either, but I see me biting now. Got that out. Good little guy. Look at this, guys. Finally got a tube. I got a tube fish. My first ever tube fish. I think. It's so tiny. So tiny. That hook set though. I think I got some brain in there. Dang it. That hook set is horrible. No, it's good hook set, but horrible for the fish. So bad, I'm gonna get him in quick. He's gonna lose the eyeball. Man, I feel bad. All right, the funny thing is, guys, the whole of that fish catch is how I have this tube rigged. You guys are gonna laugh at me. I don't have tube jigs. I never really fish with tubes, but that guy hit it pretty hard. So I mean, I might actually start keeping them in my toolbox, my toolbox, my tackle box, but uh. I went through here, down here, and out here with a 2 odd extra wide gap hook. So it sticks out like that, all crooked. 
and then because this one floats I put a um, 3 16 tungsten free falling on that and <laughs> so it's pretty much Texas rigged it's oh no this is funny hey it caught the fish though and that is my box completed guys right there boom completed my box now I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go fish with some doomsday for a little bit throw me a little turtle on here cool new little feature you see this right here this little triangle that feature that a lot of people miss it's like on your spinning reels you can put your line and tuck it in there and you can so when you're traveling instead of using tape like I did you can here I'll show you you can uh, look at that boom it keeps your line freaking sweet <laughs> 